Hey, Eagle fans, I'm Thomas Mock. Welcome to Philadelphia Eagles Now. Let's jump in the latest Eagles news and rumors here in just one second. First, though, I have this crazy goal, right? So right now we're at 25,203 subscribers here on Philadelphia Eagles Now. What if we got to 26,000 by Saturday, right? Today's Monday, less than a week away. You guys think that we could do it? I did a mustache just for this this, this, this little quest here, trying to go ahead and get to 26,000 subs. If you like the mustache, if you like the channel, and you like the Eagles, three of which are good things, go down below and help us get to 26K subscribers by Saturday. All right, jump in the latest Eagles news and rumors here on a Monday, and there's some false flag information going on with Jimmy Garoppolo that may have gotten all the way to your Twitter accounts, but we need to put to best this misinformation, right, if you will. So there is, of course, the report. Now, this, this uh, report is true, that the 49ers and Jimmy Garoppolo are looking for a mutual trade together, that apparently San Francisco is about to move on to Trey Lance, as they probably rightfully should, because they did spend a trade up to get Trey Lance, and so Jimmy Garoppolo is technically on the trade block and will be moved at some point this offseason. Now, this sparked Monday Morning Quarterback's Albert Breer from SI.com to talk about this, as he naturally does. He is an NFL insider. And uh, mentioned Garoppolo and the Eagles in the same sentence, causing, I was reading an article on Fox News saying that Philadelphia and Jimmy Garoppolo might actually make a lot of sense. Oh, Philadelphia tied it to Jimmy Garoppolo. It's all ridiculous. It's all fake. It's not going to happen. Philadelphia is not going to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo, rest assured, because we can dive into the Albert Breer actual quote and see that he didn't really link Philadelphia and Jimmy G. Throw that up on the screen. Quote, while we're there, it's really hard to assess the trade value of Jimmy Garoppolo, Breer wrote. The reason, we still don't know which quarterbacks are going to be available. There's a good group of suitors out there ready to take a major swing at the position, the Broncos, Eagles, Panthers, and Commanders, end quote. You, you saw what he did there, right? He said there are teams that are prepared to make a big swing at quarterback. You mentioned Philadelphia could be because of the draft picks. But he said it in the same sentence as Garoppolo. Therefore, people go, oh, Eagles and Garoppolo, the connection. This is not actually going to happen, right? And this is nothing against Jimmy Garoppolo. I think Jimmy Garoppolo is actually a grossly underrated quarterback. If you look back at, you know, quarterbacks who win playoff games the past couple of years, Garoppolo is right there at the top of the list. I mean, the guy was, you know, a completion to Emmanuel Sanders away with a 10-point lead against the Chiefs in a Super Bowl from being a Super Bowl champion. He's very much capable of leading an NFL franchise, and I think he's very capable of being... Uh, you know, a quarterback on a Super Bowl winning team. I truly believe that. I think he's a good player. However, Philadelphia is not going after Jimmy Garoppolo. And I'll tell you why. It's very simple. Philadelphia has Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, to me, is very similar to, to Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, Garoppolo's a better passer right now, but we've seen what Garoppolo can become. I mean, we've seen the peak of, of Garoppolo's abilities. We've only seen the surface of, Jimmy, of, uh, of uh, Jalen Hurts. Hurts, in, in the end, could be much, much better than Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, you trade for Jimmy Garoppolo if your roster is completely ready and just a quarterback away. Denver or the Steelers, right? Those teams are basically just a quarterback away, although the Steelers do need some help on the offensive line either way. Philadelphia is not a quarterback away. They're a pass rusher, a wide receiver, a linebacker, a cornerback, maybe a safety, and then maybe a quarterback away, right? I mean, there are so many things where they're not... Um, talking about actually being close to winning a Super Bowl. they got to go ahead and upgrade and improve, which is why I'd much rather keep the draft picks and go ahead and spend the, the, the picks on defensive players and work with Jalen Hurts. Plus, if Philadelphia does want to make a big splash at the quarterback position, as we keep hearing the rumor, then it's going to be Russell Wilson. It would not be Jimmy Garoppolo. Russell Wilson is a far better quarterback than Jimmy Garoppolo, even at a little bit of an older age. I'd take Wilson over Garoppolo any day of the week, but I'd take Jalen Hurts over both of them. That means we keep the two first-round draft picks. So this is just a good lesson. And what it's going to be like over the next couple of months here as Philadelphia remains, you know, open at possibly trading a quarterback, you're going to get articles like, you know, the ones we see uh, re regarding Jimmy Garoppolo saying, oh, 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 Garoppolo and Eagles, you know, linked, when in reality, mm, they really weren't. Um, answer this question down below. How do you feel about the Eagles not going after Jimmy, Jimmy Garoppolo, right? I don't think that they're going to. Would you be happy if they don't go after him, or would you be sad? Type H down below for happy, or again, type S down below for sad. All right, next story here is one via the Philadelphia Inquirer that's talking about uh, going ahead and signing pass rusher Hassan Reddick. Like my title here, Chronicles of Reddick. You ever watched that movie? I think it was a movie. It's got Vin Diesel in it. I don't remember being a kid and seeing it. He has like the weird goggles or whatever, but you know what I'm talking about. Move on. Either way, so the Eagles, of course, need help at pass rusher. We know this. We've talked about this like every single day here on the channel. And Reddick is going to be one of the highest paid free agent pass rushers in the National Football League this offseason. It's going to be worth a lot of money and could potentially bring that star outside edge rush ability that Philadelphia desperately needs and wants right now. Now, the Eagles will have money to go ahead and make some big moves. I don't know if they can afford all of us on Reddick, but $24 million plus, depending on you know what other moves that they make, is a lot of money and gives them ammo to potentially be in the conversation for a guy like Riddick. Now, the Philadelphia Inquirer had a good article right up on Hassan Riddick. We'll throw that up on the screen right now. Quote, the Eagles got a first-hand look at Riddick's dominance during their matchup against the Panthers on October 10th. Riddick, who spent his college career at Temple, sacked quarterback Jalen Hurts twice and later garnered more attention from the offensive line. 
Over the past two seasons, Reddick, 27, has 23 and a half sacks, including 11 this past season. For comparison, Sweat and Javon Hargrave led the Eagles in sacks with seven and a half each. Reddick's success is transitioning from off-ball linebacker to edge rusher is also intriguing considering the multi-roles defensive coordinator Jonathan Gannon typically asked of his players. The Eagles would likely need to create more cap space for the signing, for this type, type of signing, but of the top-tier edge rushers available, Reddick appears to possess the most value and a high ceiling, end quote. Now, I totally agree. The one question is going to be where does he fit in this defense because he is a pass rusher, but really he's a Sam linebacker, and the Sam linebacker in this defense has really been occupied by Jannard Avery, but Avery did not play every single snap. Like, he was very much, you know, put in in Sam roles in a limited capacity and was not like an every down pass rusher and you would need Hassan Riddick to be there as an every down pass rusher because he is that good right you don't want to keep Hassan Riddick off the football field just because your defensive scheme doesn't allow it and so that would be my one question for Riddick he's not a traditional 4-3 defensive end like a Brandon Graham or a Josh Sweat but if you could get him for the right price if he wants to return to you know the city of Philadelphia Gabriel College and Temple this could be something to go ahead and look at and be intrigued by I like Riddick I like the idea I don't know maybe he's too expensive Maybe you get a pass rusher in the draft. Maybe you go for both. I'm not sure, but I want to put Hassan Reddick on your eyes' radar going into the week. What do you guys think? Would you want to spend big on a pass rusher? Like, do you, do you want to, is, is that what you would want to spend all of your free agent money? If you would, type Y down below for yes. If you would not, type N down below for no. And while we are at it, you guys are diehard Eagle fans, right? Like, you guys completely bleed green. I, I assume that you do if you watch this channel. If you watch this channel or are not subscribed, you go ahead and subscribe down below. Help us get to 26,000 subs here as we try to give you guys the best daily news, the rumors, the updates, and more. I mean, we try to give you guys as much coverage as possible. I worked all weekend on videos, getting you guys ready for this week. That way we could have the best content possible. If you guys appreciate that, help us become the number one Eagles channel. I think we already are. But if you guys like the channel a lot, go down below um, and subscribe. All right, final quote here, just to throw it up on the screen, kind of funny, I was watching Get Up the other day, and I saw this one, and so I pulled it for the end of the show. It's Dan Graziano, when asked about the most intriguing team this offseason, look who he said, Eagles. They have three first-round draft picks, and despite what we've said in postseason news conferences, do we really know how confident they are in Jalen Hurts with their long-term quarterback answer? Those three first-round uh, picks means the Eagles have at least have to at least explore the possibility of trading for a veteran, and if not, decide to build around Hurts. It'll be fascinating to watch what, the, what that means in terms of how they allocate their offseason resources, end quote. So, it's not just this channel taking note of Philadelphia's important offseason. It's everybody. Everybody's taking note that this is the most important offseason. And honestly, I think it's the most important offseason ever in Philadelphia. I can't think of an offseason where the Eagles had more ammo, had more firepower, and more on the, uh, on, on the line. I, th I, I think with, you know... Second year head coach, you know, a third year quarterback, a bunch of cap space, three first round draft picks. This is the offseason to where the Eagles can make a massive jump back to the top of the NFC. If you nail this draft, if you nail this offseason, if you get your quarterback or you keep Jalen Hurts and you build around him, either way, if they improve dramatically from where they were last year, 9 and 8, a playoff football team, they can move in the NFC. The NFC is not the powerful conference right now. The NFC is about to lose, or did lose Brady. They could lose Aaron Rodgers. It doesn't have Mahomes, or it doesn't have Justin Herbert, or Joe Burrow, or any of those really good quarterbacks. They have some of an Asian group. They have some decent guys like Matthew Stafford. But overall, the NFC is primed for the taking right now, and the division itself is primed for the taking. I mean, you're looking at two of the three teams def desperately need a quarterback. I think the Giants are out on Daniel Jones. Washington need needs a quarterback. Dallas has always been a mess, will continue to be a mess. This is the offseason for Philadelphia to make a big move, and I'm so pumped to be covering it with you guys here and just just having a good time in terms of getting you ready for everything happening with Philadelphia. Drop a like if you guys are likewise excited about this offseason. I, I think you guys are excited for the draft, excited for trade season, type of free agency. I mean, we are literally less than a couple of weeks away from free agency, and it's going to be nuts. It's going to be fun, and we're going to cover it all here on Photo Eagles now, so drop a thumbs up. Again, all day today on our Philip Eagles News and Rumor video. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Plenty more content coming up later on this week, including a mailbag video. You can be a part of that by using the hashtag Eagles down below in the comment section and ask any sort of mailbag-related question that you want. For Philip Eagles now, Thomas Mott on a Monday, signing off for the rest of your day.